I love Cindy Kim bitch because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like Too to funny, do. Mama. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> that I'm <laughs> Hey everybody, how y'all? Hey, welcome to Two Funny Mamas, and I'm Sherry Shepard. And I'm Kim Whitley. It's so nice, to, it's actually nice to be here with you. It is. Mm, no, no, give me your phone. Uh, no, 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 you've been in the comedy clubs, but I mean, forget that. No, but so, I've been tested. Me, said no, I've been no, tested. you ain't tested, you I just did a you. show last night. But I was you tested just, for that show. You, you were? Yes, but after then, but the, you, I did what about after hours. the show? What about after the show? I went and did a spot at the Laugh Factory. That's exactly. You keep doing comedy. But I want to kiss you. Nope, so not going to do back. it. I'm happy to I'm be so back, I'm so happy. She, like, I feel as y'all don't understand. Kim has been so sporadic with her presence, and all y'all thought I was trying to get rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> and so she, like, can you actually... Get you, can you get your titty off my show? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I need, I need to feel connection with you. I'm a Taurus. Like, and so I lost her for a while, and, I, and, and not that I didn't love any of the guest hosts that we had, but there's nothing like Kim Whitley because we started this podcast. So to have her back. I just realized my head is like four inches longer than yours. That is weird. But my titties are longer than yours. True. Okay. Even. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Chris. Like, I just, I can't hear none of this stuff no more. Uh, I'm so you excited. So much, my friend. Oh, look, at, look at the size of my head. I got four <laughs> inches up here. Oh, that's the only reason why you uh, need yeah, to do the measurements. <laughs> that's the only reason why you are you. like, I need to see these measurements. I need to see these measurements. <laughs> Oh my God. Y'all don't even understand. I feel such joy in my heart. Now, literally, we were supposed to have started this podcast an hour ago with Chris, right. but we was taking so long. Talking we in the kitchen. We were talking in the kitchen. Catching up. It was all kind of sticky stuff on Kim's counter, so I was helping her clean up. Yeah, and you had to help Joshua, Joshua put batteries I had to help Joshua put batteries Because I gave him old batteries. <laughs> okay, let me tell y'all something. Kim goes out. I come back from the lab factory. It's like midnight. I said, Kim, where you at? You at home? She goes, no, me and Joshua about to go out to Target. At midnight, and she said, "Oh, you know what? Uh, Target ain't open, but Marshalls is. We have to go. We've been cooped up in the house all day. But at midnight, you going out, Kim? Yeah, we we gonna go. But come on, come on back. So I come by. There's a smell coming out of Kim's car. She been gone to Martha's Vineyard for weeks, and there's something that smells like something dead that was, was in the car. Horrible. So she kept going, Joshua, did you put something in the car? He's like, No, no. Turns out Joshua put a egg, a hard-boiled egg. Oh, no. It, it was, was in back, a snack baggie. It was in a Ziploc bag. In a Ziploc baggie in the back of her, you know, the pocket behind the seat. Oh. So that was it. So we're going on. We're looking everywhere. Looking everywhere. Now it's 12.30 in the morning. She goes, okay, well, we're going to go. <laughs> Windows all down. Josh was like, mom, I'm cold. She's like, well, you, if you had to put the egg back there, now you're just going to be cold. So this is literally midnight, 30 minutes after midnight. So they come back with this toy that Joshua is like, it don't work. Don't work. So I said, well, let's check the batteries. And Kim says, no, no, the, no, 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 no. The batteries is fine. I'm going to take it back there and gave him this toy that don't work. I said, somebody returned it. Returned the toy. And I said, well, maybe it's the batteries, Kim. No, 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 those are new batteries. I look over at the bag of batteries. It says CLD, written in marker. Okay. But the C is faded. So I said, the batteries is old. That's not CLD. I said, that's fine, C. That's a C. That's a C. And Josh was like, mm-mm, auntie, that's CLD. What the, does anybody know what CLD stands for? <laughs> no, no. You think that old? You think the batteries old? It says CLD. <laughs> so we get new batteries. CLD. We, the toy ain't working. Oh. We put new batteries in there. Now we can't turn the damn thing off. Yeah, the new batteries, that thing lit up like a rocket. I was like, wow, Sherry, thank you. He was this very- This is what we're doing, Chris. Sorry that we're late. Yeah. No, I enjoy and that. It had stuff on it. And then it had And she stuff. had to wipe off my counter. I don't appreciate that. Because every time I, where I put she my said, phone- She said every time she touched, everything, it was sticky. It was. It's, it's like when you have a little kid. It's just, there's just a sticky ickiness. Shut up, Chris. To everything. Well, Chris. Why, what, what's going on with the kitchen? Why snickered. is it like that? Snickered, Chris. The one thing oh. I have to say about Chris is snicker. Women love that damn snicker. Do they? They they, they say it all the time. We love. I heard snickers. it's like a snicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Chris. Yeah, come just on. Dirty. Okay. No, but everybody loves your snicker. Like they they are always talking about your snicker. I didn't know that. Yeah, they love when he I'm goes. Gonna start, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna start calling him snicker. That's snicker. your nickname, snicker. snicker. Oh no, see that's gonna snicker. get me in trouble because I'm gonna yeah. See that's that's that doesn't work. Yeah, you but, gotta turn it. You'll never be able to get rid of. Oh, okay. that's snicker. <laughs> that's snicker. Yeah, and bring coming to the stage, everybody. 
He's been on the podcast with us for years. Uh, everybody show some love for Snicker. <laughs> That's a terrible. That is a terrible. Please stop it. Please stop doing that. It's the soundtrack to the show. Come on. Like, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I'm looking like a guest. Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. This is what you don't get when you when you don't have Kim Whitley. So she okay. is back now. She's not planning on going out of town. She's not planning on going anywhere, which I'm very excited How to hear. Know? I mean, but you know, you know, right. you're right. I've, I've been working. But for the most part, in the totality of what you do. Right. I, I think still, you everybody, I love this so much because you got to understand. Me and Sherry spend so much time together. Why not? do the podcast like right. why not do it with other people like we don't talk anyway together we just need the camera on us <laughs> we do that's what makes it so much fun and and and, and it's just so much stuff that we haven't talked about because right been... i still need you to help me with that other situation i was talking about well i'm just doing this morning because i still ain't handled that situation i don't even know what you're talking just about. just remember after the, the show situation. i need you to help me with that situation i gotta make a decision i'm not a good decision maker okay so i gotta yes make we that know decision. with the christmas tree it took mm. you when oh, took the longest to buy a Christmas tree. You got a Christmas tree and then returned it. I sure did. Had my Manny, who was working for me, return the Christmas tree. I think he double billed us. I really do. He I should think have. He billed me for those hours and you. Oh, snap. Yeah, I never got him on it because I've been so busy. Yeah. But I know right. what he did. You all are super busy. And I know Kim's helping out with the production of a big show coming up. We've got a surprise today. Are we seven am. minutes already in with just Because we just talked. Excuse me. Yeah, so introduce your, introduce our special guest. I was looking for this. This is my oh, cord the, to my laptop. Cord. Oh, I know the people at home are like, what the heck? Okay. And we remember, we're going to also, Chris, we're going to have a discussion about this thing. Kim uh, has a yep. cell phone purse. Yep. I and do. she bought me one and I don't use it. And she's very angry. Very <laughs> angry. <laughs> Certain yeah. age, that is for, you need that. So if I'll you are sure. listening, it's, it's you can see it. It's, it's, a, a, it's a cell phone, and on the back of it, it was like a change purse. It's a little wallet. You it's not a change purse. <laughs> it's a wallet on the back of the phone, which is secured. It's not just like a little flimsy wallet. I have had seven people ask me. I've had a man saying, "I need that for my wife during the pandemic." Because sometimes yeah, so you gotta run. It, you can you have uh, yeah, money, your money and the other side cards. credit cards. Susan B. Anthony's half dollars. Uh, well, sil yeah, silver you know, dollars. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this as Kim's self. I'm about to sell. Just give me this. Yeah, we can so put it up. But see, Kim is a, very upset with because she went and bought a really beautiful. It's she bought a purple one because everybody knows mm -hmm. purple is my favorite color. She bought a purple one for me, and I got it. And I got it at the no. House. And then one person said something because she knows she thirsty, and some dude or somebody said, "Oh, that's like an old lady bag or something." He said, <laughs> "But let me tell you something. This ain't no old nothing." When you wear this, this is called safety and being fly. I got so many people that love this because guess what? I just throw it across my shoulder and I'm off into the store. Can't nobody grab my purse out the shopping basket. Boom. And so as you can see, she's quite defensive. About because you break and lose everything. I'm trying to save your life. Yes, because she because I always lose my case. And with this my big old thing, you lose phone. your phone. This big thing, you ain't gonna lose it. But I won't wear what Kim bought me. She's really upset. Now, oh, you go wear it. Oh, you go wear it. If I got to come over the house and put it across your shoulder, <laughs> maybe, maybe you reason, spend my twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> there's a reason why I don't. So I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Well, imagine well, let's finish up this. Discussion. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell them why. The reason why can you hand it to me? And I will tell people. No, um, we don't. Kim, Kim, yeah, we'll get Rodman. But here's the, the thing: Kim uh, get, has this because she has a very she carries big, huge purses, and everything is in it. And so this is a very uh, a case to keep it organized: her credit cards and her money. So this works for Kim, and you strap it over your uh, shoulder across your body. Across mm -hmm. your body, so it's like a little cross body bag. Now me. I carry not only my credit cards and my license, which is great, but I carry, I don't, I'm not leaving, I want my Some lipstick. lipstick. My lipstick and it disappeared yeah. and I, I, and I. It'll be over here for weeks, so okay. it's fine. And, but that's expensive. So I carry. How two, much can a lipstick cost? Who says it's expensive? It's from Anastasia of Beverly Hills and it's expensive and I just. Well, shame here on you. Well. How much is a lipstick? What's expensive lipstick? $7.99? No, it's probably like $23. For some lipstick? Yeah, so. Oh, you are bougie. Go ahead. <laughs> So I put in, I typically carry two tubes of lipstick and a, a MAC a, a lip liner. I carry a thing of Lysol, 
uh, breath freshener. I carry breath strips. No, let's show what you really carry. Where's that? It's, Don't make me go in the kitchen. I told you this, to bring it in here. Oh, no, the last she all? carries. I don't know how you'd get all this in a little bottle in a little purse. <laughs> she has a bottle of Listerine. Well, that's I usually carry a travel size bottle, but this time because I was performing, I took the bigger bottle. So you have a bigger purse? No, no, no. I just carried that in my duffel bag. But I usually carry a little travel size bottle of Listerine, a two tubes of lipstick, a lip liner my credit cards and money and I'm in my eyeglasses. Sound like a lot, don't it? No, it's a <laughs> little purse that I, so I carry. Snicker, you a snicker, if you look at me, I have big purses, but I don't keep them. Right. Kim and I have the same type of purse that Tom Joyner bought us. I never use it okay. because I have to carry cross body bags, little purses that carry that. So when I got the, the Cause she lost weight. Him, she didn't used to be able to wear <laughs> cross body bag. <laughs> well, I, I guess you well, say that. Impressive. I wonder. You pass of where I've been, but okay. So I, I, uh, oh my, I went cross. So what happened? Like, yeah, just one eye yeah, I saw it. I looked and it was like it crossed oh, up, fell over to Go the ahead, So, we so got I, yeah, we'll get the ramen. But I, what I'm mm-hmm. saying is when I got the gift and the thing, I did, I put all my credit cards in, I put the money mm-hmm. and then I said to Edie, my sister, now I'm supposed to put my lipstick and my Listerine and my breath strips. I'm very conscious because I'm around people a lot. I'm very conscious about my breath. So I bring breath strips and-, and the, Do you have halitosis? No, I don't. You've never but had you know, a breath I prevent, problem? No, I prevent it. Let me see. Don't huh? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you huh? I can smell your breath when you Let talk. You, you don't have to huh? You don't and say it's me. Spit don't or something come on my nose. You know why? There's many people want to stick their so toes in this mouth. Okay. Mm. Yes. Let me see the list. Hmm. I can make it. Uh, uh, now you got to write it down. There's so many of them. Well, I'm not going to say it on the podcast. Okay, listen to me. Why don't you carry the purse? I mean, this thing I got you. Because it doesn't fit in I your just, Louis Vuitton little cross bag. It just, even, I got, Mark, I got all kinds of cross bags. That's so, so what I'm saying is it this. Does, yeah, no, it this could be your every day. You don't need to carry a Louis Vuitton little, little snazzy purse at night. When you get dressed, do I take this case? Look, I got a bunch of them. I might want to wear the red one one day. Then I got the green one. <laughs> then I got one when I do daily pop and got no wallet because I don't need all this on the background. The I just snap it on and The question, Kim, it. is where do I put the stuff that I just named? When this I is go not to, a purse. This is when you jump out the car. I don't. And you that's run. why I have small bags. So when I jump out the car, I have a small crossbody bag so that it's all everything is in there. Okay. All right then. You give me that to give somebody else. That's what you're gonna do. I had somebody in Martha's Vineyard ask for that. So no, because I'm, I'm going to, to hold on to it. I'm gonna put it in my collection of purses. Well, I'm. It's just... not a purse. I need you to get a collect. I'm gonna come over to the house. I need you to have a box in your closet of cell phone cases. One that's like that, raggedy. If you drop your phone, it's going to explode. Then I need you to have one that's a little wallet thing. Then you can have one like a Gucci one when you want to be flashy. Okay? Nowhere do I go that I do I not carry my lipstick. Nowhere. Nowhere do I go. Even in a Ralph's or CVS, I always have the lipstick. Why? Because in case I need it and I got to pull it out. Why do you need lipstick? put it on. You don't need lipstick. I carry my my. Men don't even like lipstick. Do you know that? that? All men. Thank you. Let's bring on a man. I got a I got a man for you. And if people uh, if you want to plan your purse accordingly on September 11th in Austell, Georgia, you can check out our new guest, Rodman live in Austell, Georgia. Again, 6 p.m., 9 p.m. shows. We'll put up the flyer. Rodman, welcome, sir. Rodman. Hey, Rodman. There he is. Hello. He uh, won last comic standing. I've been my friend for uh, for years, and uh, he's a traveling comic, but one of the funniest comedians I have known. I have watched him grow. He is my boy. I wish he would write more jokes for me, but he refuses because he's at a certain level. Oh, just about Rodman. Yeah, Rodman. Well, Rodman, so nice to see yes. you. I haven't seen you in so long. Yes, and I, I have learned so much just just listening to the two funny mamas this morning. Uh, uh, we don't argue like that all the time. We I don't. mean, y'all, y'all. I can tell y'all sisters. I can feel the sisterhood spirit. You know, y'all. You know, y'all blowing. Y'all, y'all blowing at each other's breath. <laughs> <laughs> You know, y'all robust in titty talk, all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, there was a kiss earlier just, too. Yeah, it was a kiss earlier. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of love. So I feel, you know, so 
I'm 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 feel like a fly on the wall just just looking at the chemistry. I learned that Sherry is a Taurus and her favorite color is purple. So you know I, I learned some stuff. I'm a Taurus too. Thank you for so. listening. Yeah, bull. Thank I'm you. a bull. So I, I what, get. What, I what get. do you think about the should she? I bought this for her. What do you think about this? I mean, I think that it that is cool as a man. I think. Uh, that little cell phone case is very cool. I'm, I'm against dudes with the purses. I don't I don't think dudes should. But Rod, right, man, tell I'm me why, that. because but. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm not going to do it again. But the question for you, Rod, man, is I feel for y'all now because back way when men only carry money and their keys. Now you're mm-hmm. carrying so much more. You can't put all that stuff in your pocket. I like, mean, they just no, want you. No, only thing that's been added to your accessory, it really is a mask. So that's still, <laughs> you, you, yeah, I still got the same service. I got my keys, I got my wallet, and they, they make me have a mask now. So, you know, my ears don't appreciate the mask. I had to find the right string. But it's look, right, right man. Yeah, He's I went through a few messages. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, right, my, man. my ears don't appreciate it. Yes, yes. It's not only the keys, because first of all, I have used most people have those key fobs, which are really bulky. Yeah. <laughs> you, have your, yeah. you have your house key, you got your girl's key, you everybody taking care of their mama, so you got that key. Yeah, it's a true. full janitor's ring of keys, plus your earbuds. If you don't want to wear them in your ear all day, you got your earbuds, yeah. plus your credit cards. You're just using this, but when you run out I, and go back in the store. I'm talking about me. Yeah. See, I'm doing personal. No, see, see, yeah, see, so. Yeah, but see that that has led all that stuff is, is correlated with skinny jeans. When skinny jeans, <laughs> so you never knew what people had in their pocket when they wore uh, oversized jeans. Now the skinny <laughs> jeans, yeah, you're like oh, I'm gonna have to get a man purse because it's making my everything is bulging out my skinny jeans. A so, man yeah. purse, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so man that, man. yeah, that's when the man like purse can't make a. Cause you stuff like skinny jeans and you're like, okay, that's your key fob in your pocket. Right, man. <laughs> I have to say, when I see a man wearing like a, a small, simplistic cross body bag, it's very sexy. It to is kind of sexy. Like, I don't want to see you. I saw a boy wearing a fanny pack and I was like, oh, brother. I just see, that, yeah. But that's, yeah, that's the rock. The rock wears his fanny pack. He gets, he gets it in. But uh, it, it, it's each his own taste is taste. I'm, I, I get it when the cat got their Louis back. And athletes, I know they got to have certain things along the way, but it's a certain lifestyle. Like, like you just a regular dude walking around. There's no reason for that. But you, you know, you got a certain lifestyle. You got to get your stuff and your, and your toiletries. You know, cause people got to have their toiletries. I get it. You, ain't, you, ain't, like, you can't put your toiletries in your pocket, so I get it. No, she got a big bottle of Listerine with her. <laughs> See, you, can't have, you got to have travel size, Sherry. You got to have travel size. You I do have travel size, but can I ask you this, Rob, man? Don't you appreciate yes, yes. a woman as you're going mm-hmm. in for a kiss? I don't know if you're single mm-hmm. or not, but as you married, so, okay. So married. as you go, I still believe in a little sugar, though. She giving you some sugar. Don't you appreciate the fact that her mouth is clean and fresh for you? Oh, I'm, I'm I always go. You know, go brush that, and I, I will help you if it's not right. I say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I always say it, it ain't. Yeah, cause nobody teeth thing. Everybody teeth smell good. It's that back part. So I think it's good. To, <laughs> It's good to carry some listerine because people don't gargle like they they supposed to. That is recommended too many, but people don't people you know, spit it right out. You got to, you got to use your time. So would you be yeah. mad at a woman? What would you think if would you, you saw smell like yeah? If you saw a woman's bottle of listerine in in her, but you her. smell like a medicine cap. Okay, yeah, go ahead. no, go ahead. no. If you, if you, yeah, as long as you got that cool mint, the cool mint is good. <laughs> Get that cool mint. Because that's the thing. Kim said, "Don't use listerine because it smells too medicinal." And I know oh, I use this cool. but that, right. you want some medicine because it's killing that bacteria. You need the to germ. kill that bacteria. Yeah, the germ. So, the 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 so, so, so when a dude comes in to kiss and he like, oh, she is old as hell. She smell like, <laughs> yeah, like okay. So it's a yeah. it's the blue it's the blue listerine and not that brown listerine. No, that green. That black. No, brown you can't use that old. Yeah, that that old brown. That brown that's, listerine. That's, that's, everybody. That's, <laughs> That's antiseptic. That's antiseptic right there. Yeah, that's that's your grandma and them. That's it like using tussed deodorant. You just kind of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's no reason. There's no what reason you your know about, to be creamy. What you know hey, about tussed? That's, that's grandma and them. That's grandma and them. Get you a little 
a little cream up on the arm. You ain't, you ain't spraying it, it's cream. Right, man, I'm on the floor because my grandmother used to put the cream under our arms. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like it don't like, work because she a cream. Right, I say, this, this ain't the odor right here. This is lotion. I thought it was lotion. It was <laughs> Yeah, it's too creamy. It's too creamy. Yeah. It was fussy. And I was you like, touch and it. I, and you can't one, yeah. I tried to find yeah. it one time when I was in my 20s. I was like, I need that cream tussy. They looked yeah, at me like, no oh, I don't know what it is. I that's old, so that's country. Tussy. Yeah. That, yeah, Did you that, hear that, what that you came out with jerkers and tussy. What'd she say? Tussie. I would put the tussy in my butt crack. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Because that would be just like if you're running <laughs> and sweating. <laughs> Like if I had a giant butt, like if I had a giant Oh, butt, she's talking about if she worked out and the sweat got in her butt. Well, first of all, I didn't say, yeah, I do work out. I didn't say, yeah. You, do you know how much you got to work out to have sweat dribbling down your butt? You you don't, Weight Watchers I'm, don't even I'm, require you to work out that much. Uh, okay. Well, point at first of all, you, it, you should put no cream in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Sound advice. That's all I got to say on that. Mm. <laughs> oh, you got a point. So, Rod, man, thank you for that advice. Yes. Um, tell us about your show. That tell you're us doing about the show. Georgia. Well, it's, 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 a, it's, it's basically a, a coming, I'm coming back home. I, I hadn't been, you know, we still in the midst of a pandemic. So uh, I wanted to take my show to a theater. I've been doing club, 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 club. But, you know, you got to take some chances on yourself every once in a while. As yes. they say, bet on yourself. So uh, I called Kim, say, Kim, I got this idea. I want to go do my show at a theater, kind of one-man show. Uh, you're going to get some of the classic Rod Man, Big Frank with the eye and all that. You're going to get some newer stuff and living in the new norm and all that. So we just taking it to a theater at uh, a Riverside Epic Theater in uh, in Allstate, Joyce. So it's a suburb of Atlanta. Uh, two shows, six and nine. Uh, on September 11, good people, September 11. So it, it's oh, just you mean a 9 11? Nice uh, yeah, Sherry, if you want to say that, yes, it's on 9-11. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. <laughs> it's an emergency. <laughs> she, you, you don't she like it forget. when, well, yeah, you don't like it when people say 9-11, your show's on 9-11? September 11 sounds bad. I'd like to say September 11 because, you know, people conjure up the 9-11 and the, the planes in the building. We don't we don't want that spirit. We ain't coming with that spirit. Okay. We coming with a, a joyous talking. spirit. Cause we, yeah, we're never going to forget. We understand what happened on 9-11, but we also want to use that date to, boom, you know, we it, it's just like Bring you know, holiday. When they, yeah, have some joy, too. Bring a little joy to your life on, on that day. We don't, now, we don't be somber, how do people get somber, how do Huh? How do people get tickets, Rod, man? I want to make sure you tell the people. You get, how get the how tickets, get people. Ticket? Uh, we make it easy for you. You go right to directly to my website, rodmancomedy.com, and it will take you to the ticket page. And click on that link, say, bye, because we need you to buy. And uh, click on that, and it'll take you to that. And uh, you pick your show, 6 or 9. And we, we, we plan on selling that thing out and uh, having a good time. It's going to be family, friends, cousins, uncles. Uh, a little baby. No, we don't have no babies, but it's gonna be a no baby. The, the night. No baby. No baby. Grown folk only. Yeah. And uh, and, well, and this is a this is a, this is an establishment uh, that is black owned, black operated. So it's, it's, oh. it's you're supporting you're supporting black business. I know that's a thing now. We say we're gonna support each other. So let's prove that and and show up that night on September 11th. So we, we're asking our listeners and viewers to support Rod Man. Uh, Kim is producing this show because she mm -hmm. loves to help out fellow comics, which I love. And so this is a... But I, well, they, well, let's, 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 let's be real. Okay. I like to help out fellow comics, but if they're not good, right. I can't help. Yeah, don't, don't come I to know. Kim. Rod Man has Rod Man made is me laugh hilarious. so hard that yeah. I am a fan of him. And uh, I might I might fly down and open up the show. Oh, if you fly um, down, I'll fly down. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, that would be wait a minute, wait a minute, like, wait a minute, all this stage time. When I'm going <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know how well, you we get say you don't want to get off. That's one man and two got, funny moms. We got ten yeah, minutes. Yeah. We got ten <laughs> minutes left. Yeah. Me and Sherry, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Atlanta. We're gonna we're gonna oh. open up the show and have a good time. Okay. Okay. It sounds like fun. It's in Atlanta. Oh yeah. It's when it's uh September eleventh. You know the day, September the 11th. Maybe we so, can yeah, do that. It's, it's, that. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, so yeah, Rodman. let's 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 make it big. Yes, yes, yes. So that that would be love. So Rodney, 
Yes. Before you go, and I just want to say to all our viewers and listeners, please go support Ride Man if you're in the Atlanta area on the September 11th, because this is one that we endorse. Uh, we've come up with Rod Man, and he is so hysterical funny. He's so underrated, and like we yes. want him to be seen. So yes. y'all can show y'all support if anybody's in the Atlanta area. But Rod Man, I want to do a couple of uh, regular like hot topics with you. Would you mind? Oh. Okay, let's let's shoot. Okay, let's nothing shoot. controversial. We don't. We're not. No cancel culture over here. You you ain't gonna be okay. uh, who the one the, 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 doing the jokes about Bill Cosby and now he just a uh, Hannibal Burris. We ain't gonna Hannibal Burris. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's go. So now, where is Hannibal? Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, here's here's one of the topics. Uh, J Lo and A Rod. A Rod mm -hmm. took a picture in front of his Porsche. But then people mm -hmm. realized that was a Porsche you gave to J-Lo on her birthday. Ooh. And so now you're taking a picture in front of the Porsche. Uh, J-Lo was on the yacht because, you know, now she would have been at Fleck. Her and A-Rod broke up over alleged cheating. He cheated allegedly. So, so J-Lo is on her yacht with Ben Affleck having it. And then A-Rod's yacht goes past them. Uh -huh. So everybody's going, hey, Rod, you can't, you, are you not over J-Lo? Do you need to let go? What do you think about the whole A-Rod and J-Lo breakup? <laughs> First of all, you th thank you for the fill-in or the A-Rod, J-Lo. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was you know, later. That, that yeah, that is not at the top of my desk in the morning, but <laughs> I like it. I, I like it. It's a, yeah, because it, it's a different kind of situation because, you know, first of all, you said, he drove his yacht past her yacht. So yes. you, know, that, that, you know, that's a whole nother kind of level of relationship controversy right there when you uh, <laughs> when you that stalking stalking? in a yacht. Yeah, he's talking in a yacht. That that big level right there, yacht stalking stalking. So uh yacht I mean stalking. Yacht stalking. I said, Oh, what? He drove a yacht pad. You know, that that's different from what Matt Bond did. That's different from what Matt Bond did. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he drove. He drove all the way. He drove all the way. But he is on the water, so it's a different kind of battle when you're on water. But uh, I, I mean, I didn't even know J Lo. Didn't she used to talk to Ben at that before? Yes, yes. and they're back together. Is that a so good idea certainly... to go back to your ex? I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not against circling back. You can circle back. Yeah. I, I yeah, you circle point. back because it, it, time, 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 you know, time because sometimes that could have been the one, but yeah, it wasn't the time yet. So you, because she circled back for a reason. So yeah, and, and J Lo know, trust me, J Lo know they not had some nights, nice pillow talk nights nice, where uh, she probably said Ben was good to me, and uh, he remember that night. That's why he's out in the water right now trying to make it, make it. Make okay. It. So let's yeah. keep going. There is this controversy mm -hmm. over the shower takers and the non-shower takers. I don't know if you've heard of this. What? They got people who are saying, celebrities who are saying they do not shower. Uh, Ashton Kutcher and his wife Mila Kunis from that 70s show. We have mm -hmm. Ryan, uh, I think it was Ryan Reynolds that said he doesn't shower. Um, a lot of people are on the team no shower. Jason Momoa, who is Aquaman, says he showers. The Rock says he showers. What do you think about showering versus non-showering? Why are you going to bring this up? Because you know what my stance on Because when well, originally I said no black people was on the team no shower until I talked to Kim. <laughs> Kim won't take a shower. She she does it sporadically because she wants to preserve what? what? No, I want to preserve you know. my skin. It's drying <laughs> to your skin. And I have my son shower every day because I need him to get the habit. But you know what? Uh... I, I might. Uh, How you well, feel about that? Well, put this way. First of all, let's say this. I'm by myself. Let's <laughs> all keep it real. First of all, I live alone. If I got a job, now if I'm going to work every day, but during the pandemic, I didn't run too much water because I felt like anything could happen and we might need it. No. So I need to keep don't. my well of water. And I had a bathtub full of water because I didn't know if we was going to have drinking water. You so you thought I mean? you was, uh, what was that movie with Don Cheeto? That it was in it when he was trying to preserve the water and the Tootsies was trying to kill everybody yes, in yes. Africa. Oh, Remember that movie? R Rwanda. Yes. Rwanda. Rwanda. So she yeah. over here thinking it's Rwanda. 
well, not taking a shower. Yeah, I want to know how you. The, I don't know what Kim talking about reserve water, whatever. Like that. I'm on. I'm always uh, team wash your ass. I'm on that team. All Thank the time. you. Thank you. Team wash your ass. Just uh, uh, six to eight hours. It's time for a fresh up. You can't, you can't, you can't just. But be I ain't never, ain't no reputation yeah. like that. Yeah, you can't, you, you can't let twenty four wow. pass unless you do, unless you trap somewhere on deserted place, uh, and they ain't got no running water. But if you have access to water, you you gotta just wash your ass. And I, I know people like. I didn't say I didn't. You talking about a shower? Yeah, I can you, can, you can sit around I'm like people, like I you say you my ass. It's a different. Yeah, like Wait, you say what? you live by you yourself. Your whole yeah. body in the shower. That's oh, I, now sometimes you can do a three spot. You can do a See? three spot. Three spot. You can do bam, 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 bam. Yeah, you can do a three spot. <laughs> That's yeah. every once in a while. That, every once in a while. That can't be your consistent go to. That's, you know. Exactly. See, that's where you confuse you know what Rob Man is saying. Okay. Yeah, that it's can't be your go to. That, that'd be like you've been laying around. You're like, you know what? I need to go uh, wash up, as the old people say. I, you need to go wash up at least, at least run some water in that sink and wash your ass or something. Don't, mm. You gotta run a whole tub. Okay, so go ahead. Thank you for that, Robin. We got one more. Go ahead, because I gotta okay. use the bathroom. You know we're gonna do a podcast for an hour. <laughs> and I was gonna say that one, yeah. Bathroom before we start the podcast. Because I drank coffee, and you know what coffee does. Okay, you know, again, back to the original question. You know we're gonna do a podcast <laughs> for an hour. Why would you drink coffee? <laughs> we're interviewing I drink the coffee so I can wake up. Okay, you can't even do it when the guest gets off. That's the ultimate and disrespectful no i drank listen i drank the coffee i can't tell my body not to bubble after mm. coffee mm. what you want me can to you do? just hold it for a second i just gotta go I'm okay all right good drive. luck with that go ahead go ahead go ahead good luck with that we you need both of us on the thing with rod man I, we don't need both you can talk for both of us it has been proven <laughs> <laughs> this is the last lightning round question. Yeah, okay. yeah. These are lightnings. These are lightnings. Yeah. There was a woman on a date with a man, and he was talking to her. And when he went to the bed, when she went to no, he went to the bathroom. Yes. A man slipped her a note and said, "There's too many red flags. You need to keep going." What do you think she should have done? Like this was a man who was in a chair behind her, listening to their conversation. And he said, there's too many red flags. You need to, this is not good. I hope he put his phone number at the bottom of the note. <laughs> Would a man yeah, do that yeah, right man? Because he's interested. I don't. And yeah, I, 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 that sounds like a scenario because I don't, I don't know no other guy who would approach a, the red flag meaning what? Because red flag could be different type of situation. Well, he heard credit, uh, <laughs> what is his red flags? <laughs> oh yeah, he got it was whatever mama. stuff you heard. It was like he was like you know he, he was the dude was he was a gay dude and he put the paper in front of her so maybe he could they, sense that there were other things going. The, you said might the, the, the might have sense the, the man dude, she was, to was gay and the so gay he put dude. The, oh yeah the dude oh. who put the note in front of her was gay. So he might have sensed oh, yes. that the man she was talking to, hey girl, letting you know, a lot of red flags. He might be playing over on our team. So I just oh, want to let you know. Man. Oh, that's how you took that? Yeah, I oh. didn't, uh, yeah. I, I yeah, it's don't very, have it's very interesting yeah, how men take it. <laughs> yeah, I, like I took yeah, it as I he don't. was like, he said like Rodman said. Okay. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't know what yet. Oh no. So I, the red flag, the red flag that you mean he's gay? Is that red flag? That's what I thought it might have meant. I, just, but this just goes to show you don't have to answer that right, man. How I'm women and men are so different with how we filter a conversation. Okay, she can't. he can't see me. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, hey, how you what doing? are you, are you how digging you in your butt? I can't hold it. Oh, oh my gosh, go! Go to the no, I'm leaving. I'm sick of her trying to tell my body what to do. <laughs> oh, no. I know you go, what kind of podcast I is never, this? Hey, promote the I show. I never, uh, It's going to be 12 days before she showers, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then Alexa goes, I didn't catch that. It's Rodman. I apologize. Yes. We I have this the... Unlike any podcast you've ever guested on. I we have we to, have yeah. the note. Make him go way back. I, I slept on a food. So you know him. So I, yes, you know him. We go way. Yeah. Here's yeah. the note. 
Too many red flags. Run. Be safe, girl. And that's on the back of a receipt? It's on the, yeah, it's on the back of like a napkin or something. I've never seen that in my life, but yeah, okay, yeah, and then yeah, so so that and that that's too nice of a handwriting too. So that that dude don't even write that nice. <laughs> I'm thinking dude may have wanted her for himself. Maybe I don't know if that's breaking dude code. Yeah, but... no, you don't. You let dude do what they do, what they do, what they do, and then if the lady becomes available, then you do what you do. But no, I I I don't understand that one right there. That's 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 as they say above my pay grade. So Rodman, you gonna be again September 11th? Is it one night only? One night only. Getting it all in. I, I call it that good funny. So we we getting it all in in one night. We gonna uh, that good and, funny. And, September eleven. It's where September and and Austell, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta, right by Six Flags. So if you know where Six Flags at, you can't miss it. It's right off I twenty. Uh, a big epicenter. People think it's the church, but it's not the church. It's a theater inside. It's an epicenter. So uh, a beautiful facility. Uh, you'll love it. When you get in there, and uh, I'm gonna bring that funny, and, and Kim and Sherry say they gonna bring some funny with them. So we got a lot of yeah. funny uh, lined up for you that night. So yeah, I'm, I'm that'll be fun. It. It's, it's home. It's home. So uh, I always have a good time at home. And what is the your website again? We gonna put my that website up. is rodmancomedy.com. You can get the tickets at rodmancomedy.com to take to the event page. And uh, I see you at the show. And you can follow me or uh, at Rod Man Comedy on all the social systems. They just let so me So we're going to put Facebook. that up. It's not showing right now, but when it airs, all of that will be up. So, you, so everyone will have it for September okay. 11th. And I wish your producer and your friend <laughs> was here to say goodbye. This is the most, the most awkward. If uh, ADD like that, though. I, I mean, yeah. we and everybody back. So, can I tell you this, Rodman? I have to say this to you because uh, our viewers and listeners who are just joining joining us, they're getting an insight into our personality. And so, so many people say, why are you so bossy with Kim? You always cutting her off and telling her what to do. You Do you understand why I do it? You got to, because you got to, you got to, you know, you, you got to tap up. Kim, Kim, come on. We got to go this way. We need to go this way. Come on, come on now. So yeah, I, I understand. I understand. No, 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 because she gonna wonder. She like, no, 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 no. We need to go. We need to go that way. So I, I get that. I, I, I used to write. Uh, me, Rodney Perry, and uh, J Dub used to and write an old, old drama. Write, write her monologue, and we try to keep on task. Just if you hit this Kim, it's gonna kill him. But focus, focus. Because <laughs> yeah. you used to write for Kim, so writing in Kim's yeah. voice, you know. It goes many places. Like literally, we'll be sitting here on the podcast doing a podcast, and Kim will put her feet in the camera and just look at yeah. her feet. But I mean, well, that's not a surprise yeah. to you. No, just... no, 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 no. I, yeah, she, she's a uh, funny, 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 uh, beautiful, beautiful people. It just you know that comedy. Keep it, keep it. She gonna do it by herself, but on on book, you might not can get on book good. But she funny. But do you know? I, I don't know. This is one fact I have to give you that you might not be aware of with Kim. Do you know that Kim will never drive with the radio on or music playing? Mm, did I know? And you know why? Yeah, why? She Cause says, because it's too many voices in her head. Oh, no. <laughs> I hear voices in my head. They keep calling so, me. Yes. I, I, so I, she, I, I believe as a, as a performer, we, we all have uh, the voices in our head. It's just so, how many we going to let talk at one time. And that's what Kim, she has a lot of voices in her head already. But in, in the additional voices of the singers and music, it's too many voices. Mm -hmm. She says, Sherry can't handle all those voices. So Joshua <laughs> never listens to the radio or music in her car. And when we were driving, I said, Kim, I can't even take it. Like we're going on a road trip and there's no yeah. music. And she's like, I can't do it. I can't, I can't oh. drive with, with the music. You got to, you got to have the music playing on the road trip, but, but yeah. So I, I did not know that, but uh, I, I will talk to her about those voices and, and just let, she should <laughs> let jazz. You can just let the instrumentals play and then that'll mm -hmm. get a, the, the voices of bed. You know, they'll get the voices okay. of bed. Yes. Well, she is. She's in the bathroom right now, Rodman. Okay. And if you okay. call her, you, 
you can talk to her in the bathroom while I finish up the podcast by myself, apparently. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, I'm going to let her handle her business because evidently that coffee ran right through her. That's what I do. <laughs> yes, I think it did. And she's got her phone. So give her a call. Okay. I love you. Okay. We love you. I love you. And when your birthday, you Taurus? Taurus, when your birthday? April 22nd. I'm April 30th. Oh, you're April 30th. So you Taurus. I'm all the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you like physical touch? Is that really important to you? Uh, in in love making. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of vital. <laughs> yeah, I don't need people to be rubbing out on me unsolicited. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's right, man. social distance. Social distance. Social distance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We love you so much, and I'm okay. going to look at my calendar uh, to see about hanging out there with Kim because I love coming to Atlanta. So we're going to look right. at uh, coming out there and hanging with you on your night. Cool. I appreciate it. You're looking good. Keep keep doing what you're doing. I, I see you're doing your little skate thing. I, I, I see you. I see you. Yes. I mean, you should come skating with us. You know, Kim, we skate at her place. But you don't, okay, you don't live in LA, do you? Nah, I'm, I, I, I got some residency here. So yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't skate, but you can teach me. You can teach me. Oh, but we have, you can I'm do a, scooter. A Kim, doesn't, Kim gets on I'm the daggone bicycle. I'm a, <laughs> yeah, I'm a marathon runner. That's what I do. I, I run. That's, I run and box. That's my training. That's my, that's my thing. That's gonna look a little weird on the on the on the thing where we skate and you running and shadow boxing. But okay. <laughs> okay. Everybody got their thing. That's all I'm saying. Everybody got their thing. We put on music because it's Whitley on wheels and we okay. come over to Kim's and we skate. So you are definitely okay. invited. We had Suli over the last time, Suli McCullough. Suli McCullough, okay. We had Suli McCullough over and he brought some skaters and we just had a mm-hmm. bunch of fun. We just, you know, it's not a whole bunch of us, maybe 10 because you got a big old mm-hmm. place where we can sw- where we can skate. So we do our okay. social distancing and it's good. She has the liquor. All right, we <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you up on that. We're gonna make it happen. All right, we love you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. I'll talk to you in a minute. Bye, Rod, man. See you later. All right, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Rod, man, bring it in. And as I would look to my friend and go, How did you like that? There's nobody sitting here in the chair. Um, he's great. He, he's great. That looks like a fun show. You interviewed Rod, man, before. Yeah, back in like 2017. Missed him the last time through in St. Louis, but uh, definitely we'll catch him next time. He remember my co-host. He remembered us. I love that guy. He's very funny. Yeah, Rodman is really funny. So, you know, here's the thing. Kim produces a lot of folks' comedy shows, it, more than we know. She really, truly believes in supporting a comic and helping him. Like David Arnold's first comedy special taping called Fat Ballerina. Yeah. Kim was one of the big producers of that. Cause she just believed in David, you know. Oops, sorry. Oh, look at. I don't Shut know if you can see who Do this not. is. You better hope. Kim Whitley calling me. <sighs> Hello. Hey. Yeah. Hey. What y'all doing? A podcast. <laughs> is Rob Man still on? No, no, Kim. I had to say goodbye. He had stuff to do. Okay. All right, that's fine. We promoted the show a, a lot of multiple times. Are you coming? Yeah, I got some problems. But... <laughs> mm. I can't. I we can't. like to we, we like to share on the show. Oh God, I took some special stuff. Okay, it's okay. You don't even have to explain. We completely. Okay, all right, all we, right. We understand. All right. So it's. All right. Are you saying it's going to be a while? Maybe forty five. No, 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 no. Okay, I was like, we're going to be done with the podcast. 45 to an hour. You on your way? Yep. Bye. Bye. I got to take a shower first. So. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you in a second. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Uh, it's crazy. Out of her mind. <laughs> this girl in her office, she is, uh, her doors, her office are clear. Mm-hmm. You can see through the glass. She's been out there for 10 minutes cleaning up. I've been watching her. She's doing it right now? She's doing it right now. She Why? is wrapping up cords. She is out there. Do you think she would have come down from the bathroom and just came in here and started? She's straightening up the dining room table. She, I don't know. Oh, you can't even hear. She's she's like uh, dusting. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. 
What stops you from making a straight beeline from the toilet to the back to the podcast? Like, what stops you and makes you stop and clean? It's a great question. On your way here? I didn't clean. You did? I saw you. You was wrapping up cords. You were straightening up the dining table. Because that cord has been sitting there, and I thought somebody would move, and it's driving me crazy. Okay, so it, key word. And then, okay. Key phrase, been sitting there. So it's sitting there another 20 minutes. Then you were straightening up the table. You're pushing it. I'm looking at you the whole time. you pushing in the chair. I'm just saying, what stops you from coming down the stairs going, oh, I got to get back to the podcast? Like, what what happens in your brain? I see things. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we... We heard a rumor, Sherry. Uh, Sherry, too many, too much music. You can't drive with music on. What in the world? I just told Rod, man, Chris was supposed to be doing engineering, and he was listening. That's the thing about Chris. You think he's just doing it? You hear that? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he be listening. I was talking to Rod, man, because Rod, man was talking about when him and J. Dub and Rodney Perry would write for you. Yeah. Uh, for you, when you had your talk show, Oh Drama, on BET. And it was just a little bit hard to get you to focus. Like, they were trying to get you to focus on the punchlines of the joke. He was very complimentary, but he was like, it was it was just keeping you on track. So I said, fun fact. Like, I want some water. If every, I said, oh, fun fact. Man. If everybody, uh, if every, anybody ever asked you about Kim Whitley, you have a fun fact. That she doesn't drive with the music on because... Why is too many voices in your head? Too many people talking in my head. <laughs> I've never heard such a thing. Like you never have the music on. No, one day I remember a girl was in the car with me. And, you know, Laura, she used to ride me all the time. And then one day she said, when are you going to get your radio fixed? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? She said, it's broken, obviously. I said, why? She said, you've never turned it on. I said, I don't do I. Mm -hmm. I, because it's so, okay, this is the thing. In my head, maybe I am having conversations, <laughs> but it's all the stuff that I have to do. It's everything, you're thinking about everything and then. But it doesn't, music doesn't help you relax. Like I do the same thing, but I need Cam on or Earth, Wind and Fire, I probably soothing should. Jeffrey Osborne because it helps me think of what I need to do. It's You're the saying, opposite for me. Like, you don't hear music in my house, which I'm no, going to start doing never because hear music. my son loves music. Mm -hmm. And I remember growing up, my mother loved music. So I have all the songs from my childhood. Right. He has nothing but silence. There is a lot of silences. Lot. As much is going on, that's why there's I, silence, but you have a lot of people. But if the, say we have one, like I have somebody who have music on. If someone starts talking, I, I can't, I'm like, turn it off. Or if I'm doing something, I cannot have the music on. It is such, I guess, a distraction. I can't hear the I would have never known that because when I come home right after we skate, we put the music on. I can't and be I in dance. the bed with somebody with music on. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. That thing ain't That's gonna happen. That's the sound Like you, okay, nope, first of nope, all. Nope, because I am in the video with them. I, I'm in the music video with them. I yes. cannot, I don't care what you're doing to my body. I have oh. left oh and I'm God. with you, Landross, in the video. Uh, uh, uh. But this yep. is what That's I don't problem. understand. That's Kim. another fun fact. When you're in bed with someone, you want a soundtrack to to go with the flow of your I whatever keep, okay. intimacy you have. There's music that it's like when you see a horror movie and it goes turn up. You know something's coming. Ba 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 boom. You know, or love yeah, a romantic movie. You play the music for me. You are gonna know something's not coming. Wow, that I didn't know that you don't like. That's being hilarious. Movie. Okay. That's hysterical. So now as Chris is destroying all his music that he got together for I, when we come out to St. Louis, you can play November it in the 18th. But if I don't, you know, really know you that way, I'm not gonna be like, hey. But at this age, I, yeah, I'm gonna be like, hey, you might want to turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, I, I actually can you could you do that horror music like they would in a in a movie to show something scary is about to come up on screen? Would do, can you make that that music? It's yeah. always that thing where it goes, cha -cha. Cha -cha. Cha -cha. Cha -cha. or is oh gosh, did you see this picture of Kim? For our folks who are viewing us, uh, Chris popped <laughs> up the most horrific picture of Kim with her teeth before she got them fixed. No, that is not me. <laughs> Listeners, if you can even get on YouTube at some point, and sh this picture of Kim is the most horrific, horrific horror picture I have ever seen. That was funny, Chris. And she terror, and then she terrorized what? two gentlemen. 
I did. I did. This picture right here is from one of, the, I guess, I, my one of the, I would say one of the most exciting and fun characters I've ever played. Who is this character? Yes, her name is Misery. Yeah. And she was on the Wayans Brothers, uh, with, and I kidnapped Marlon Wayans. And when I tell you, I love this role. I've never known about this role from you. This, your teeth. Look at, oh my gosh, so you're sitting there with- Sean and, and Marlon. Marlon yeah. With this old homely dress on and a sweater and your hair looked horrific. Yep, that's all me. Did all, you audition all, for this role? I, when I, this is why this is such a favorite uh, role of mine. Like, okay, that's driving me crazy. Why is that old? Okay. <laughs> Okay, she just closed the cabinet. Okay. She's driving her nuts out. So this role right here, and I say this in my career, I talk about this all the time. Marlon uh, Wayans and Sean Wayans, and they, they had a show called The Wayans Brothers, and Nicole Horsford was on it, and, you know, Pops, uh, our yes. favorite, um, John Witherspoon. And I wanted this part. It came out, and um, she's a person who kidnaps them, and she's horrific looking. And uh, the casting director said, no, Kim, you're too pretty for the role. You can't come in for this. But I read it and I said, please, please let me come in. She said, no. So I had to call Percy because my agents are like, they won't see you. But I know the casting uh, director personally and is a friend of mine. So she was like, okay, Kim. Oh my God, you're going to get on my nerves. Come on in. Um, and I go in for the part and I sit there in the waiting room and I see all the women and I have these horrible teeth in my hand with some poly grip on them. I woke up, I didn't wash my face, I had makeup running, well y'all know I didn't wash, but makeup running down my <laughs> and my hair, I didn't touch it, it just looked crazy. And I went in and I sat there and I put on a big homely dress and just, just all that stuff. <clears throat> and I, they said, that was the last one. She was like, come on Kim. I go in there and the producers are in there and she's, I told Kim she was too pretty for this role, but she insisted she could do it, but look at her. Okay, Kim, yeah, all right, you got your little funny outfit on. Go ahead, you ready? I said, I'm ready. I turned around, put my back to the producers. I popped these teeth in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I turned around and started doing them lines. They slid off the couch. And they just said, stop. Can you come like this on Monday to work? Everything you have on. Just wow, like wow. And I got the part. And me and Marlon laughed. And that started our relationship. He was ad-libbing. I was laughing. They were like, cut, cut. Will y'all stop laughing? We can't get through the show. We had so much fun. For me, it's yeah. one of my most memorable uh, characters. Uh, especially when you fight for something and then you yes you did fight for it and you had somebody who didn't think you'd be able to do it so you had something to prove was it that it was and also with that was it the fact that you got to come out of being pretty yes because so many people say oh kim is so pretty which you know don't equate it to she can't act yeah and so delicious. you got to do something different that was, was crazy fun. i'm gonna have to look that up on a youtube oh my god i gotta watch let joshua watch it, it was so yeah fun. he needs to see that the wayans brother i think it was called the episode is called misery because wow. i had a whole closet with all his pictures and candles <laughs> oh it was ridiculous <laughs> mm. it was i might have seen that episode i just didn't know it was you uh, really yeah that Very that's fun. how good you are because i when chris flashed it's that fun. picture i jumped yeah it was totally terrible <laughs> Good time. Wow. Thank I, you for sharing that, Chris. Love hearing that story. The you music know, was great. Right? Some people think in Hollywood that it's so easy. Like, why y'all just don't go get your own talk show? Why y'all go get that part? Why y'all? It's, yeah. it's sometimes people don't believe you can do it. And you have to fight not only to, to, to do it, to audition, but just to get in there get in, in front of people. And that's why um, when you can get a serious role, then other people start seeing you as serious. Yes. But being a comic, sometimes you get typecast and they go, well, all you can do is make us laugh. Or Don't you have a movie coming up? A movie? A serious movie on Lifetime? Oh, I do. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and she talks about me. I just saw the trailer for it, fool. I, I never I sent you the trailer, did I, Chris? Huh? Oh, my goodness. You it's called, um, time, oh, Jesus. I have to show the trailer, really funny. But it's called, I totally forgot, girl. It's called. <laughs> I work so much. <laughs> it's Hang not on. even that, girl. I'm it looking. was just, 
it's not that at all. It's just that I did it so long ago. Okay. I did it in the middle of quarantine. Remember when I went to Canada and yeah, I took my yeah. stripper pole with me? This is a week away. Is that it? No, that's already on Netflix. My movie a okay. week away. This is uh, this I'm is looking. called Imperfect High, and it's oh, about yeah. a, a teenage girl. There it is. Bent. Yes, yeah. teenage girls descent into prescription drugs and being in a high school because a lot of kids now are addicted to prescription drugs and it's starring Nia Sue who was a little black girl on Dance Moms. She plays my daughter and I play her mother of trying to help her through this uh, addiction and uh, it's really good. It's on Lifetime but I think it'll be coming out in September or October. So September 18th. September 18th. So it'll be on Lifetime. So look for it. It's called Imperfect High. Set your DVRs. I play a mother. Her name is Claire, I think. Wow. <laughs> I was not playing mothers for a while because Nia was my daughter. And this was um, a script that wasn't particularly written for women of color. And um, I got in kind of late in the game. So I didn't really read the script like I should have to ask for notes. So Kim, this movie... You know, black mamas act a little bit different mm -hmm. than other mothers of other ethnicities. And what was so funny was in the script, they had Nia all the time going, Mom, get off my bed. Mom, stop it. And she would run up the stairs and she'd slam the door in my face. So any black mama that's listening and watching this, y'all already know. Child running up the stairs, your teenage girl slamming the door in your face, screaming at you. It's just going to be a different reaction. And in the movie, what was so funny was, and I told you this, Kim, it was a lot of this. Nia, no, stop it. This is not how we talk to each other. Open the door. And, or like when she would slam the door, it's, there's a <laughs> thing that Lifetime likes to do in their movies, Kim. It's a whole, what do you call it when they have a certain thing that they like to do? That's known to Lifetime. Uh, like soap operas do that thing where yes, they're like, don't stop. talk to me. Yeah, it's, you it's know, their trademark. It's their trademark. Mm -hmm. So Lifetime on all their movies, they have that thing where something happens and then you got to look at the camera like, And, and so when she would slam that door, I don't remember what her name was in the, oh, it was Hannah. It was Hannah. Was like, that was one thing I said to Kim. I said, my dear going daughter's name is Hannah. Okay. Said, what I said, girl? what black girl got a name like Hannah? And Kim says, uh, that's my niece's name. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all met Hannah, my darling little Hannah. I said, I ain't never met a black girl named Hannah. Oh, uh, now you have. Except Kim's niece. But every time Hannah would slam the door in my face, I would have to go, Hannah, Hannah, stop it, Hannah. We don't do things like this, Hannah. <laughs> and then I'd have to turn to the camera. She slammed the front door in my face because she was on drugs and she wouldn't listen to me. And she was like, just get off my back. And she started screaming at me. And I went, Hannah, no. And she goes oh, in I'm glad they got you to the part. <laughs> Honey, they would have fired me because I said, no, no. None of that. She ran in that house and slammed the front door. And then I was supposed to look at the door, put my palm on the door. This was a white movie, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I put my hand on the door as if I'm hurt. And then I turn around and I'm looking out going. Uh-uh, <sighs> not just a staring out. Quite. Yeah, it was a staring out. It was a staring out. And then they went, cut. We got and it. And then Nia comes out, my little daughter. She's like, um. Black moms don't act like that. <laughs> <laughs> she slammed that door on me three times in the scene. And I said, I looked up at the camera. I said, if this girl slammed this door one more time even in my the face. Act, don't tell, even as an actress, you were getting mad. As an actress, you I was like. You called me, you was like, okay. I was so upset. I said, I was supposed to have taken the doors off the hinges or Absolutely. something here. Mm -hmm. Even when she. She <laughs> just fixed Joshua's door. He <laughs> ran to his room and locked his door. Let me tell you something. Uh, mm, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I told I th Andre busted through the door. I said, I don't care. Tear it down. I said, I'll get another door. Baby, oh, the, the frame came off. Oh, everything. <laughs> My brother, I said, you won't lock it again, will you? He didn't expect Sasquatch to come <laughs> through the door. Oh, no. Damn, Kim. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta let these kids know. Then you gotta let them know. I said, no, no, ain't no door. First of all, it's my door. It's my door. 
And guess what? You gotta let them know you're a little crazy. You gotta let them know you're crazy. They had one part in the scene, girl. She goes, Mom, get out of my room. Get out. And I was like, Hannah. And I'm backing up. I was no, like, don't do this, Hannah. We don't do this, you and me. And I tried to get like a little bear. And I was like, see, we we talk to each other. And I was like, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Okay, okay, y'all. <laughs> Let's redo the scene. I'm Hannah. Okay. okay. Come on, mommy. Ma, you better get out my room, Ma. Hannah, get out my room. No, Hannah, please. Mommy, Stop get out it. my room Hannah. now. Hannah. No, you gotta redo it as uh, shit. Oh, it's oh, oh right. well, we get we get two versions. We get the we get the oh, whitewashed good. version that oh, you're doing a great job. Now yeah. here it is. This is the black version. Mom, you better get out of my room. Okay, first we of all, I'm, watch your tone. No, get yeah, out my you, room. You better Ma. calm it down. Ma, get out my room right Bitch, now. Bitch, watch your tone. <laughs> Think I'm playing with you. Shut it down. All the way down. I don't know who you think you talking to. I ain't your friend. No, Shut it. No, Shut it. Mama, you I swear for God, right I'll smack now. them. You want to go back? You want to go back into my womb? I'll put you right there. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, my God. Sherry, who's, whose room is it? Yeah, but, who house is this? Right, that's what you I don't touch that's nothing. Room. Ain't nothing in here yours. This ain't your room. This my room. And don't, I ain't your best friend. Don't you ever look at me like I'm your friend. I'm your mama. <laughs> <laughs> to be yeah. fair. You made me hit my hand hurting you. Frank, popping you upside your head. No, you don't my hand hurt. I would have done that whole scene on the set. Oh, girl, I'd have scared them. <laughs> I, I, I said, all right, y'all, I'm going to do the other version just to get out my oh, sister. Gosh, <laughs> but there, oh, was one, there was one scene where she came home late. I had made all of this food. And I was sitting on the table waiting, looking at my watch, looking at my wife. And she comes in and she's all I gotta high. See this fucking she's all high. And she immediately like comes in and I, and I got up and I go, oh, thank you. Uh, dinner is late. And she's like, don't just get off my back. Leave me alone. And I, and, and the line was, Hannah, I'm trying to love you. I'm trying to do this, blah, 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 blah. And I said it like that. I said, first of all, I'm trying to love you. I'm trying to give you what you need. Help me. And then we're cut. And they go, Are you serious? <laughs> and, and the director was like, uh, it's a little too angry. Oh, and, oh. and I said, and well. you're scaring our white viewers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, see, I see why they ain't offering me no movie. Uh, no, yeah, they were going like, <laughs> It's like they put me on the view. I see what's happening. <laughs> Barbara Walters is afraid of me, and so is Lifetime. I see what's going Oh, guys, oh, guys. <laughs> I'm very it's just, nice you're and playing a different. Playing. Yes, you have to. I can do it. You have to. And she's and I said, well, I'm not. It, when your child comes home later than the boundaries that you set, and then tells you to get off her back, like you don't get to get you you don't get to get out of that. And she says, no, no, no. So when she came back in, it was like take three. And she came back, and I was like, Hannah. I, so I've been sitting here waiting, and she's like, Ma, get off my back. And I go, Hannah, Hannah. Cause she leaves and I'm like, Hannah, okay, well let's do this. And and what about this? And I've got lasagna for you. <laughs> Watch the movie. Okay. Watch the movie. Don't, don't lose the message no, of me. drug abuse through Your drug soon, abuse through, through, uh, um, prescription drugs because a lot of kids are on this. It's a serious matter. It was very, there were some things that were very funny to me as a black mom playing a very calm, Mother. And tell me how you think I did. I would love to. So coming out. It's on, September 18th. On September Lifetime. 18th on Lifetime, which is so funny because then on September 19th, I'm going to be on TV One in Uncensored. Oh my okay. gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. So if so any you have y'all, September 18th on Lifetime and, and Perfect High. And look at that. And September 19th, Uncensored. On TV like, One. TV and if one. anybody does not know what the Uncensored is, uh, TV One does these kind of like they focus on uh, the star, the celebrity, and they they go through their life on what happened and you know what when when they were growing up it's just like a journey into your life past and present and it's a little different than unsung yes uncensored they go a little they try to they go deeper dirt. yeah and unsung and is also about musical band. groups isn't it yeah a lot of yeah groups. unsung is more about the musical groups the, what i didn't like about what they did so they're taking a journey through kim's life and i think please watch it because i don't think anybody aside from listening to this podcast they people don't really get to know who you are right. like we know you as the funny girl we know you as the girl on all your shows we know you from joshua raising whitley when you do your ww formerly Weight Watchers stuff, but I don't think people really know you. 
No. And they really like, they really don't know the person you are and how you grew up, how it has shaped you. And so this on September 19th, I'm so excited for you guys to see Uncensored. Please, let's break the box office records. DVR and putting Kim Whitley for Uncensored. It is so good. And it's, it's, you got tons and tons of pictures. Well, we hope it's good because, you know, you got, we ran late. We didn't get to ask all the questions and, and I'll what? be honest, what? I hope it's good. You know, Kim, it will be. Because I did an uncensored before. It's, you have? Yes. So I didn't get to give all, like, it is not my whole story. And I'll save that for my memoir. Yes. There's so many things that I really didn't get to share that I wanted to share. And some things I shared, but I didn't go deep into it. You didn't details. go get to go deeper into it. And you don't know how well, they're going to edit it. Right. I was like, right. I tell all my business. But you, you know, what I'm going to say is you will have the opportunity to do another one. But you can, you know, you can control it more yeah. because I think you have such a fascinating life and a full life. And I think to to be at your level of success, there's there's you got clocks going on all in your head. And I think people want to see, you know, that cuckoo clock where the thing goes, go, go! like this is you want to see that. This is... I want to see what makes you cuckoo because there's you. you? Are... No, I don't make you no, cuckoo. You, do. you was already cuckoo before me? I stepped in. No, but you, your cuckoo was on on on, on, on lock. It was already yeah. That's Better true. not have so any music on. Nineteenth. Yeah, Chris, I want you to watch it on TV One, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, uncensored, and it's Kim Whitley uncensored. I can't wait to see. I it. know it's gonna be. I, this is the. I'm afraid to watch it, so I probably have to sit at your house and watch. It. Yeah. Oh, we'll have a viewing party. Should we? Yeah, we'll have like food and cater. You want to do Should a live we? stream oh, watch yes. along? You want to do a, uh, like a live podcast watch along? But what if it's somebody I'm talking about and you invite them and I've already talked about them on the unsubscribe? No, well, they'll show you. <laughs> oh, no. That'd be terrible. Hey, maybe you should go grab terrible. something out of the kitchen. Especially if she's like, and I, that Sherry Shepard, I couldn't stay in her from the get-go because she's jealous. I would be like, I'm sitting there at the watch party. I didn't catered this whole damn thing. Like, <laughs> well, we can use that new chef, chef I sent you. She's Absolutely. Good. We'll use the chef. Okay. But we're going to have a watch party. But they'll, watch party. they will send it to you beforehand. Okay. So you can watch it. So you can let the people know I talk about you at 1432. Look, I hope they send it to me so I can say, no, no, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, she, we'd have to talk about that, Chris, because I'm so into what I'm doing in the present. It's hard for me to step out and be uh, doing doing a podcast, but we can certainly talk about it. We can. And then when we come back next Kim time, did about... a talk show. I want to talk about this. Can well, we talk about it yet? The BET. Country oh, Kill? well, no, it's not announced yet, but I was going to talk about Martha's Vineyard. Then we can't but do can, it. No, it's not, not even a, a talk show. That's not even a, it's not well, a talk it's show. A pop culture. So it's a clip show. Okay, but we can't do it if they don't announce it yet. You've I posted You've about. posted plenty about that. Oh, no, I haven't. Mm -hmm. No, she doesn't talk about that, honey. No. Mm -hmm. No, yep. <laughs> no. Yes, no. Have. If I have, you better show me. You better not have one thing about it. No, we, we're mm -hmm. not. Hey, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> well, who on my podcast? They laughing because I picked up the phone doing the podcast. Sherry, you're the best. But you know what? I think he's gonna. I was gonna see if you could watch Joshua, but he's gonna go over to the neighbor's house. They said they'll take him. They see the conditions he lives in and, and understood. Okay. You know. Oh, Rory Burton from Baltimore, who is Joshua's god daddy. He has 17 birthdays. Just want to let you know. Okay, I'll call you back. <laughs> this is what I say to Kim all the time. This one I understand because he was going to watch Joshua. Uh, we're going to a jazz concert, and they don't typically allow kids to go to jazz concerts. Tonight? But I always oh, say to yeah. Kim, no, they don't. Because Joshua, you know, people, Did we you go to Eric jazz Benet's concert. Did you know performing? Oh, Eric Benet's performing? And somebody else, yes. That's oh, what we got to get there. It's, it's, yeah, but here's the thing. When you go to jazz concert, this is like for the grown and sexy folks. They're sitting there with the picnic baskets, yep. their wine. You don't want no 10-year-old running in between you, yes. bumping into you. You got a wine. You got, it's just, it's, it's not conducive. And so Kim, but then I always say to Kim, um, when the phone rings, it doesn't mean that you all the time have to answer. <laughs> Like you can look at it and go, you I'll answer this. You baby. ain't in desperate need of babysitters. But you do it with anything. No, it's not no. even babysitters. I've had several calls. Let me tell you, my phone ring all the time. It's all kind of men calling me. Yes, I know. So I don't answer what? all the time. Guys, I apologize. I know, don't upset, Chris, Chris, don't get upset. Unbelievable. Uh, Chris, they're just keeping it warm for you. Now, look. <laughs> um, I got this. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. You know, thanks, that. fellas. Really appreciate it. I'm so glad you're back because Chris needed his dose of all of this because I couldn't give it to him. I tried and I was like, you know what? This is for the birds. This is, I can't even do this. With this I'm not going here. I'm not going to make him feel all lovey cuddly. 
Just do the Chris Duncan, stuff. wait, y'all listeners and viewers, I have never met Chris in person. Never. Never. So I want y'all to know. When but when I, I, I tell you Chris gets all squishy, squishy around Kim, I'm like, oh. He oh, he gonna get squishy, squishy all right. Oh, jeez. But we gonna put that big picnic basket right <laughs> No there matter what. Wheels. Yeah, we got a picnic basket on wheels. Yeah. Now, we, this is uh, tonight? Now, did they, so there's like a club, our uh, engineer Ryan, was. he's a great musician, Ryan is, and uh, there's a club here in town that you can't wear like tennis shoes and ball caps to. Is it no. for a jazz club? Yeah, is yours like oh, formal no. like that tonight? It's no, not outside. that it's formal, but you, you, you're grown and sexy. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you, they want you to dress nice casual. Sure. So, you know, we're gonna go and, um, we're gonna have a good time, but you know, she just said, for me, Jeffrey's older, so I can leave Jeffrey for yeah. three or four days by himself. With some <laughs> Why did you say days? <laughs> you can't leave him for no damn day. No, okay, he's a uh, he's a uh, with his dad. But wait a minute, school is starting up tomorrow. Joshua's first day back in school because they wouldn't let him. Last week. He had to quarantine. Joshua, had to that's quarantine. right. Because you were taking him to Martha's Vineyard. But I told them, what if I didn't tell the school I took him? But I told but them. But you have integrity, so you told them. And you All had right. to pay the price of having yeah. integrity. So now he's... So he's going to school tomorrow. And this is what Joshua I said. Joshua, you ready to go to school tomorrow? He's like, school? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joshua, mm -hmm. <laughs> Joshua was like, I'm about to freaking run around. He was like, school? What school? Is that? What? Huh? Baby, so I can't Joshua goes wait to school. To school tomorrow. Jeffrey goes to school tomorrow. And I'm still tomorrow. filming. Uh, uh, we're doing a show. E-pop? Uh, no, no, no! I'm, I'm doing a show that you want to talk about. Oh uh, yes, um, but it's with Country Wayne. I won't. Give if you, you guys that. don't know Country Wayne, Country Wayne is a comic. He's yeah. does he sing and dance sometimes on stage? Yes, but he's, he's also a um, video sensation, viral video. Yes, he's one of the uh, huge the TikToks, uh, He's huge influencer. Yeah. He goes to comedy clubs at damn. This is what happens when you wash your clothes and hang them on a the hanger. <laughs> the sleeves fall off. We're not done yet, sir. Oh, this is Joshua. He's like this. I know Joshua came looking in. He looked like what? But Country Wayne uh, made it on social of, media and a lot of videos. On, He's got a lot of viral videos, on, which used to get Facebook. like four hundred thousand. Now they get yes. a million followers. Yes. So yeah, Country Wayne and Kim are doing. It's called a clip show. So it's different clips that they're playing, and then they comment on them. It's kind of a he say, she say. So it's Kim Whitley. I wish I had a picture. No, oh, and, of um, no of you. I'm not, no, of you. There was one you look so beautiful. The one oh, you sent yeah. to the, I have that. The one where she looks yeah. like amazingly gorgeously you know, beautiful. You know well, I mean, there's several of those, but. Trust uh, me. No, I need to put this up because I want to. Yeah, that's the one I have. That's yeah, because I had to send it to you, Chris. Because Chris, I mean. I had to send that picture. That's the background. Was... That's the background on my phone, on my lock screen. Okay, that's hilarious. Okay. okay. Chris, that is my, uh, my, you know, who's, um. oh, he got a check. Oh, shoot. And your hair looks good. It looks like one of my wigs, but it looks really good. Is that one of mine? No, she brought that one. My my glam team, they post, but they're not supposed to be putting up, you know, what we're doing. And no, so I just want to that my wig. <laughs> that my wig that you have, because that looks like a style no, of mine. Right, but you don't have that dark there's color. A, there, no, there's a wig head in my room that's empty. Like, all my wig heads have hair on them. I think they're in and my there's window. one. I think they're in my window in my bathroom. You still have my hair? I think I gave them all back, but let me check. I do have a stack of clothes. Would you like to take them to that? No, I don't need the clothes. No, I got no 20 If you If you can fit the clothes, clothes, if you can fit my clothes, I can't fit you them. You can fit, okay, you don't, want that, you. you don't want that. You're no, only I'm... smaller than me because you're shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I can don't make is. me starve myself. What is, <laughs> what's the yes, height? At the end of the day, what I'm saying is the clothes that you got of mine were that probably jacket, clothes. You don't want that fly jacket? Oh, that yellow one? Yes. Yeah, I want that back. See, no. I told you. <laughs> I told you she forgot. I was like, yeah, you tripping. I but okay. Because I'm going to rock that okay. with, some, with some really cute Yeah, videos. that jacket is fly. As soon as I get, let me show the people. As soon oh. as I get my, look, look. This Wait, old sideways. stupid shoe boot. I hate this thing. Hate it. <laughs> so as soon as I get off this shoe, this orthotic you shoe need to cut your Why do your toenails look like, why are your toenails over your toes? Because that's the, why you can't fit your shoes and that's why it well, hurts. I got a smaller one because when I got the one that fit my long no, toenails, No, your toenails look like my fingernails. Oh, they look like Eagle's Tower. Yes, Eagle's yeah. Tower. Why'd you cut them thin? They always look like Eagle's Tower since I was eight. They just are. No, cut. let's cut them. No, they are cut. I just went freaking four days ago. They're just Eagle Talons. That's just the kind they're of They're just thing. long? Yeah. But I, no, they're not long. They, they've been no, cut. A, they have if you try cut. to cut, you'll cut Feel into my that. skin. Oh, so. trust me when I tell you. You act like I don't know my feet. Well, I want to get a file right now because that's one right there. <laughs> Why is your second total 
longer than your first toe. That means you're a freak. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah. For real? First, I thought it was you were smart, but I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what that means, what no long toe means. It mean. does. I got it means one. you're a freak? Yours is really long. No, your toe's not long. You got... you. Kim's not toes are very one. symmetrical. Wow. You know how people's toes are like really symmetrical? My toe is not. My toe is, my second toe is longer than every yes. other toe. So it's kind of, it looks like, <laughs> my toe looks like it's giving you the F you figure. Yeah, <laughs> did you see okay. the, did you see the, uh, the glam pic? No, show me the picture. What did you put up? Oh yeah. This is one of the pictures that came on her show. Doesn't she look hip and beautiful? Looks great. You never know behind Dude, that uh, picture no. is like a the picture of a Roker. crazy person. It's Al Roker is behind that picture. Okay, that's Al Roker. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You look so stunning. I had to snap that picture and send it to Chris because I'm like, this, that looks like my wig too. Is that my wig? <laughs> that looks like my hair. No, but I copy your looks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, this one right here that I got on right now, this is a Sherry Shepard. That's what I'm saying, it looks like my oh, hair. Well, that, so I tell the ladies- You single black female. No, we just go on your Instagram, <laughs> that's it. We don't bother, we don't call you. And we just look on your Instagram and say, which look you wanna look like today? Okay, that is hysterical. That's, that's weird, very weird. Cause it's beyond flattery. You know what's so funny, Chris? Is it weird when you're sitting with the identical wig of braids on your head? <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't want to say anything. I, I thought that that was, I thought it was familiar. I thought it was familiar. I'm sitting there doing like this. So I don't put that big old bun thing on top. I like my braids. good. I like my braids, peaches and her. Like yours look cute. Mine does not look like that. I maybe. My you had a big bun on top of your head. You know why? And I tried it. That don't look good on me. Because I think she braided more braids for you in the front. Okay. But I did cop your look. I did. <laughs> Matter of fact, the, this ain't in the right place. Oh, God. Okay. This is the I'm Sherry Shepard cracking look. up. Completely. That's why I said it looked like my hair. Except you wore I'm yellow, exactly too, when you had that on that one time, right? Because Sherry yeah, kept saying, that. it was when Sherry was in Vancouver, maybe, and she kept saying you had the California look going. Yes, that's what she was saying, that, the okay. California look with got the it, hair. Got it, got it. But yeah, the hair looks, uh, your hair looks, looks good. good in braids, Sherry Shepard. Yeah, I don't put anything on Chill. top. Top stuff, putting stuff on top don't look good. I like stuff hanging down, like reunited. Remember reunited? United That's and yeah, and I like that so that look with the. Uh, that looks good on you. It really does. I even got Kim's wig maker, Angie, yeah. to make this wig, this braid wig. And yeah. the reason why I had to keep pulling it up, folks, is because I don't have any bobby pins holding it in. Oh, so, yeah. so me, it, me it, they're Angie so heavy Parentes. to braids. Yeah, Angie Parentes. If you don't. Um, Put yeah. bobby pins on it, the sucker will slide off. So I didn't, I just threw it on and came over here, but I quite like it. Oh, wait. I'm gonna wear it to the jazz my festival. Neighbor is calling me. Okay, you know, and this no, is about the time that we probably music. should. Hey, Evie, I'm just doing my podcast. Uh huh. <laughs> Sherry, for as many times as she has not picked okay. up mine, mine oh, or I your really, call sorry, pertaining to the show, you. I know she has the ability to not answer her phone from first hand experience. She does, and here's the deal. She don't get up and walk away. She just sits okay. on the phone I'm, and continues talking. It's my neighbor, it's my girl. Okay, all right, yes, I'm, I'm gonna bring him by. Thank you so much, honey. All right, bye-bye. See, she said I can drop Joshua off. Boom, look at that. Okay. Did you but, see that uh, concert, that New York concert? It didn't happen because of the, the lightning? I wanted to watch that so bad. No, Ooh, there was supposed to be a New York concert. Huh? Oh, yeah. wow. stop watching people fighting. I don't like this. Look at that. Oh, wow. We want to, oh, we want to extend uh, our condolences to Tony Baker's son, uh, uh, Sir, Sir Rain, I believe his name is. Yes. And but, Sir Rain. Mm -hmm. And uh, but also that comic that passed away. Okay, we can't be Did saying names and we don't know the people. So I don't have that information. I know his name is Anthony. But for we'll have it next week. Tony Baker, you guys, if you ever go on Instagram and see Tony Baker, he does a lot of animal videos where he will voice what the animals are saying. Hysterical. His uh, Instagram is Tony Baker. And his son was involved uh, in a, his son and two friends, they were making a left-hand turn on a you know, place sitting, where people do right, street racing. Right. They're just sitting at the light trying to make a left. I'm sorry, excuse me. And they got caught up in mm. the middle of a street, a drag race. Yeah. And tragically, 21 years 21 old, years old uh, 19 and yeah. 20. 
and they lost their lives. And so we want to extend our condolences to Tony because we love him so much. And he's so funny. You've been, have you interviewed Tony, Chris? You know, he's not, I have not, I have not, but he's, he's <gasps> oh. incredibly, incredibly funny. And just he's uh, so funny. You got to when he, if he comes to St. Louis, cause he's on tour, you have got, what? 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 It... Condolences to Tony Baker and the family. Song, Were you... Okay. Were you, I'm curious. Were you talking about Trevor Moore, Kim? No, no, no. Okay. no. I'll tell no. you what I was talking about. His name is Anthony. No, no. So find, can, find it. Uh, the comic that passed the, the away. The comic. You can. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Chelsea Baker was on there. Well, on Trevor, the Trevor yes. Moore did too. He was a sketch comic and a comic. He was a very nice, funny guy. I did interview that guy. Oh wow. Hey, he was only forty. We're losing a lot of people, and that we don't we don't want to bring the podcast down, but yeah. we just. Keep a lot gotta, of people in our prayers. People don't know that this you is know, happening. Yeah, and then me, the mental health of people. This is a very hard time that folks are going through. So if you can find a little bit of a silver light, if you can find a little bit of a, a sliver of some joy. And this maybe we can have somebody on there to kind of tell us how you find Kim, we're, a, do you do you have an idea? I, hmm? Yeah. Do you do you all have an idea of who the who you were you're thinking of? Was it somebody from yeah, let me look here? At it real quick. Huh? Yeah, she's yeah. going to the page. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Tony he was a, also a trainer. Tony, uh, it was on uh, Ada, Ada Rodriguez's page as well. Um, oh, Ada Rodriguez. Okay. Yeah, Tony uh, Baker. He raised some money. That I mean, immediately, like people came and um, just started donating for his son's funeral expenses. He was so happy. They've been holding a nightly vigil where the kids lost their lives. Because, so they're they trying to, because we got to remember there's other two other children. Two other people. So did you know that they, they are um, charging the street racers? Did they finally catch them? Because the woman no, was they, in the hospital. Did he die? I don't think so. But they, they knew who they were because they let two of them go. They were in a Mercedes. But wow. they went back what? and got them. They know they went back and got them. They probably just had to do some investigation. But they are they're charging the street racers, which you know now everybody's over here losing their lives it's just a sad situation but we love tony baker and we just want to you know wish send our condolences and our prayers to his family because we love you it really how long is it taking you i've given you two people who have had it who have it on their his name Instagram. was anthony his name was anthony i've given you two people where you can go to their um page and give me the name oh uh. Okay. What's the name again? You the one that brought it up. I have it. Here it is. Nope, that's not him. Oh God. Wait, hold on, hold on. Sometimes when I try to think we're a Give professional podcast. Give me the name podcast, again. I'm sorry. On Ada okay. Rodriguez's page, uh, there's a gentleman that passed away no. that uh, looks very no, so young. His name? his name is Anthony. I cannot. I'm looking for his his that's actual right. handle. Oh, God. Okay, he was a trainer for real. For real. For real. Okay, you can't find oh, oh, here it is. Okay, and wh where is it? Right here? Yes, is that That's him? It? Yes, push it. Is that him? Oh, celebrated in life. Yep, Anthony okay, there we Nicholas go. Carthen Jr. Anthony Nicholas Carthen Jr. But he didn't tag his page. It's no, the, the man. Okay, but it's, I, uh, just say his name Anthony. Okay, Nicholas Carthen Jr. Okay, so we a comic and I'm gonna uh, let you handle you this know one. Wait, a comic. Um, he was a trainer, but his wife was also a comic, right? And uh, absolutely, that's what made this. Let me uh, just make sure the, it's the one yeah. uh, on Funny Ida. Here we go, Funny on Ida Rodriguez. Uh, let me make sure this is the one. That's him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tap his page. Let me see. Nate, no, that's Nate Jackson's page. Nate ain't gone. Oh <laughs> no, that's terrible. Anthony, um, yes, um, Anthony, you had it right. Anthony, um, Anthony Nicholas Carthen Jr. Yeah. Yes, that's it. That's that's him. his wife. He was married to Carmen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next time we have to be a little bit more prepared. When well, we I didn't know you was going to bring up death. Okay. Let's start there first of all. Okay. 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 Yep. okay. Let me so see. We. It. <laughs> okay. I'm his wife you. Carmen Barton. Yes. Who's also a comic. She's. Um, he's. He's. Uh, Mm. So he left behind a wife and a child. And a child. We want to extend was, our condolences. He was like 30, 40. Yeah, he was young. young. He was young. And he's missed in the comedy world. I myself did not know him, which is why yeah. I didn't know his name. Anthony Nicholas Carthen Jr. Yes, yeah, so we want to extend our condolences 
to him. He had a celebration of life. And he passed on August 13th, and I think it was a heart attack. And so you just don't know because he was young and he was a trainer. He was fit. He was yeah. really fit. And you have to look at you have to look at that. It's that's why they say, you know, tell the people that you love you love them. Yes. You know, which is hard for me to do because when I hold yeah. a grudge, I hold a grudge. I'm not coming and calling you because I don't like being two faced yeah. and telling you I love you. They love but you people. have to do. They did love each other. Carmen comedy. They really did. They, they were so in love. I mean, you want that kind of love. You I know? want that kind of love. You want that kind of love where you just you have fun with somebody and you can laugh. And you yeah, can do we life didn't with know it. him, but we know he was a fellow comic. Yeah, absolutely. And his wife. So, you know, that's a struggle. You're married, you just got a kid. Yeah. It's and a your husband thing. dies. Um, that's your so, rock. So, yeah. we wish you all of the best. And we send our love and prayers to Carmen, his wife. Yes. And uh, let's end it on a, a bigger, happier note. Yeah. When is the celebration? Okay. Huh? Did you just not hear what I said? Oh, Kim Cole's gonna say something. Look at this. Okay. Look it's at okay. all the people. Oh. You know these people. Look, oh, they already had the service. Yeah, Kim, that's why I know. The Wait. celebration is over. Wait, so Kim Cole's is afraid. I gotta call Kim, so she's going through it too. Look. Oh, they had the celebration. We missed it. I told Yeah, I told you that. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. I'm sorry. I mm. <laughs> We're not laughing at that. Can, I'm laughing at the absurdity just, just, of this whole segment. You know, can we be the happy? absurdity can we be of happy? the fact that Kim, we're trying to do to a somber moment. I couldn't. And I got, we can't even do somber because your ass is all over the place. I, I will apologize to my listeners and my viewer. I'm not as focused as normal. Uh, as normal. Um, because I'm looking for a babysitter. Um, and I've had a lot, you know, my uncle's in the hospital. He's been in the hospital since the wedding. It's a long time to be in the hospital. Okay. Now you, I'm feeling bad. No, I'm just saying it's a lot on me. Okay. Now no, I'm feeling really bad. No, I feel bad. I'm razzing on you. No, no. I also want to put music in my car now because <laughs> 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 yes. what's going on? This is why I can't listen to music. It's so much in my brain. Cause that window is bothering me. See all those water spots on that window? I got to get out there. And spray that. This is a really good time to. Uh, Do you hear my pocket. stomach? Growl? Yeah, yeah. Are we going somewhere? Yeah, we gotta go get something to eat because we're the picnic basket. For the yes, I got it. my stuff. I'm gonna make some chicken salad. What you gonna make? I'm about to go. No, I'm going to get some. I'm getting her chicken, chicken wings old. and a cob salad from okay. Joey's. So can you order now? Cause we gotta go. We gotta get on the road now. It's 1:30, Sherry. What time you wanna get there? I don't have bobby pants for my wig. I, t I gotta go home first. Don't you get at home and get caught up. And I, I didn't put on deodorant. I gotta, now I gotta rewash up. You need to put I, some Tussie on. No, I don't. Did you I'm just not sniff? I'm, I'm not gonna sniff. No, it's not Do even you, smell. It's just, look. I'm not it's doing not. it. It's not. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell. Because you have Listerine in your body. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know what? Wait a minute. We I, on I'm the not, set? This was the craziest thing ever. My what? hairstylist was doing my hair and the makeup, oh, and the makeup artist was doing no, no, she don't stink. She crazy. Because uh -huh. the makeup artist, we was talking about, I said, ooh, I said, maybe I should put some, before we do the second show, maybe right. I should put some deodorant on. Before I could even think, she had lifted my arms, swiped under it, and like, she's like, no, you good. Okay, the that's women said, for you. Yes. What did you just that's do? That's women for you. Yeah. But that's question. what you do. Women will do it. Behind the scenes and question. You had, a, you had a photo or a video, Kim. You're sitting there outside your trailer on one of your projects. Would you know that my mom is like, so what, did they use the bathroom on those trailers? How does that work? Let's give a little behind yeah. the scenes. She, Cause she's like, ah, oh, that'd be oh gross gosh, if you just leave it. You're talking about the trailers a, that if yeah, we're outside, like, we have our own, we have trailers. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's, it's like dressing camping. rooms. It's a camping. Like, yeah, but you're not, you don't want to, you don't want to leave your stuff in there, right? Like you don't want to. Well, you mean for the bathroom? Yeah. Like, wouldn't you go use yes, the flushes, Chris, but they yeah, have and then it sits in a tank. Oh, so they have yes, people that empty the tank. They have a company that comes. And they have a hose. Yeah, the company came while we were in there because they kept complaining about the smell. But we found out. I was like, so I asked everybody, the crew, because the makeup artists did, got their own trailer. We got a, I said, did somebody do something? They was like, no, we ain't really done that. So we found out. They called the company out to flush the system. The yes. smell was still there. Guess what oh, it was? What was it? My Brussels sprouts. Oh. <laughs> I'm so, I'm I had so ordered Brussels sprouts and hadn't eaten them, so I was like, I'm gonna eat them later. But they had to. Oh, oh, did you God. did you put the Brussels sprouts in the toilet? No, they were sitting on the counter. But nobody Cheers. knew. You get mad at Joshua? Yes, yes, eggs, yes. And yeah. you know these were fresh Brussels sprouts. No, but delicious. You left them, is what I'm saying. So no, no. 
it was just for that day. I left them, but I was eating on them. Keyword, you left them for the day. I was eating on them as the as I come in my trailer. But you, at, when you went home that night, you didn't. No, no, them. they were gone. I ate all of them, but the smell was for the day. Oh, you can leave Brussels sprouts out. What <laughs> not, is he under really, there? Because they smell. Dexter, why are you under that? You doing something? Why are you okay, under there? You can tell this is a time. Okay, it's over, y'all. We gotta go. It, it's like it's just getting wild. But tell your mom they have a tank when they come. To, it's like a camper, <laughs> but what it is is they hook up a hose to the tank and they siphon out everything from it. They don't empty the tank by hand. So it's a truck that oh, takes sure. all of the, the waste from the tank and then they can flush that out. Done and done. But our, our trailers outside are like bedrooms. They're like dressing rooms. I have a, some places I have a stove in my, although they never allow you to use it. Uh, we have a sink, we have uh, a big bed, we have couches where you can come and sit, depending on how big your trailer is. If you're the star, you have a separate bedroom and you have a bathroom and you have a sitting area and a kitchen. That's a, that's called a banger, a, a wide banger. If you're uh, up there and you're uh, you know higher up on the thing, they give you a double banger, which means that is split in two. You don't have a separate bedroom, but you probably have a couch that pulls out into a bed. You still have a stove, you still have a sink, you have the bathroom and you have a dressing area where you can sit like a desk with um, lights around it. That's mm. a double banger. Then if you have a triple banger- Why are you going into this? Because Chris asked, I was just you trying to- You call his it. mama and give him all that. <laughs> don't want to hear all this. I was about to go down. Yes, and you were going off deep. <laughs> like you selling the trailers. Y'all, we out. It's over. Oh my gosh, what made me like start yeah, that? Yeah, tripping. <laughs> I started texting people and then I looked up. I was like, what is that? She's like, and, and, and here's my rider. Here's the contract. This is the legal. I know, uh, yeah. Because I never do triple bangers, but I I, uh, yeah, so I was getting into it. You were. Sit next. Sit, read when you get off this top. Y'all, Carmen Brown is her name. Um, the, His mother, Carmen Comedy. Yes. When you read her post, you're going to want to send a message on there. Okay, absolutely. Yes, I will read the pain is so bad. Okay, we're going back to doom and gloom. Yeah. All know. right, we love y'all. <laughs> yes. It's over. My stomach is growling. I need this. Okay. Meat. All right, we love you, and we will see you next time. See y'all next time. God bless. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.